Everybody, welcome hey. back to Adobe Office Hours. My name is Andrew Hockrattle. I'm Nick Longo. And we built this city on rock and roll. <laughs> That's right. I've been waiting all day for that one. It's been stuck in my head uh, forever. I literally woke up and sat up in bed and I was like, it's going to be a starship kind of day. It's going to be a starship kind of day. Um, hello, everyone. Let me know where you're watching from in chat. Today is yeah. going to be a super chat heavy day because, Nick, what are we doing today? Today is midterm, and That's we have right. put together a pop quiz for everybody. Ooh, fun. We figured why not not only do a pop quiz asking, you know, what have you learned? What have we told you? What have we taught you this last few weeks? But even more so, what are they going to get out of this? Um, I, we have some pretty good giveaways. Um, yeah. I, like, we have some secrets, but we also have some that are not secrets. So the not secret one... We are giving away a free year of Adobe Creative Cloud. At the end of the show, at the end of the show, you have to stick around, you have to hang out, you have to participate, type it yes. up in chat, and we'll be on the lookout to see who our winner will be, and they will get one year of Creative Cloud. Um, I don't know. I've been singing a lot today, and I get excited about things. It sounds like a, a tune there somewhere. It does. But it feels we right. We can say everyone in the chat will walk away a winner. Yes. We can't, we can't actually say that. That's true. Everyone is a winner, and we're not just giving you participation trophies. We are going to give you actual prizes. Um, some will be a little bit different than the others, but uh, everyone yeah. gets something today if you're watching, if you're hanging out. So tweet your friends, um, call your moms, uh, write your grandmas. Um, and I, I think we also we have a birthday in the house. I believe it's Elizabeth's birthday today from Michigan. Elizabeth, happy birthday yes. from Michigan. Hello, hail to the conquering victors. <laughs> Uh, that's, I don't know where you went to school, but it feels right. <laughs> um, cool. So let's go ahead and hop right in. We've got a bunch of things to show you today. Um, I'm going to self promote for just a second because Do we're it, in the man. middle of the Adobe create. Oh, I pointed the wrong way. We are in the middle of the daily creative challenges and those are happening every single day with yours. Truly. We are doing a world tour around the world, um, learning Adobe illustrator. So we've been to Paris, Sydney, Melbourne, and USA today. We'll be going live again tonight at 7 PM. If you want to check in for that, and we'll be back on Monday with some more challenges. I believe that we're um, shipping off to Egypt. So tune back in tomorrow. Those that's at 1130 yeah. PM Pacific, uh, 1130 AM Pacific time time every day um all right nick let's we what just, do we have to talk about today we have so many things uh, do you have any other announcements of like things that are happening soon that people should like i don't God, know engage with I'm trying to think if there's a huge yeah digital community of people coming together yeah we do talk about community a lot Gosh. we do talk about career advancement and portfolio reviews it'd be yeah. great if there was a way to pull all that together like if only adobe of all companies put together a an incredible digital conference maybe yeah and know. if it was like if it was not put on like to the minimum if they put on like the maximum, maximum. that's right uh, <laughs> adobe max is coming up october 20th to the 22nd it is how much is it it's a really expensive nick do we have to Dude, give away this free year tickets? they kind of went crazy they you know i just when it was like getting a little bit too much i was like they went and went made it free this year so yep it is so kinda, this kinda is actually amazing. Congratulations. Thanks for watching. This is the prize that everyone's getting today is we're giving you tickets to Adobe Max. Everyone gets tickets to Adobe Max. You get, um, tickets, you get tickets. You get tickets. You get tickets. Everyone. You. <laughs> um, but what we want to show you today is once you register and you sign in, you can go over and click on the sessions. And from here, it will take you over and you can scroll down and look at the session catalog and check this out. Um, if you go in here and I don't know if you sit here and you type in Nick Longo to the filters. Look at this. You've got some things that come up with our friend Nick Longo. Um, yeah. You can sign up for these. And Nick, we have a couple things coming up in the Career Center as well, correct? I believe so. We're doing a boot camp on the Career Center day, which was the Monday, I believe, uh, the first day of it. Uh, and then we have two office hours live. 
I, I think we could say we're kind of part of the only crew that's going to be live during the entire thing, which is going to be kind of fun. That's um, very true. But I got to tell you, looking through those sessions and knowing that this is something you can do out of the convenience of your home, you don't have to go anywhere. You can stick around and check in all these things. There are so many good people. We know we, we know a lot of friends that are out there doing some sessions and stuff as well and some keynotes. So if you haven't logged on already, I mean, this is your chance to take advantage of it. Uh, can't wait. It's going to be Absolutely. a great few so days, man. The titles for those, um, Building a Great Portfolio is the title of one. Um, and I believe Nick has another session. My other session is First Takes from the Community on Illustrator. I'll be hanging out with Julia Masakla, uh, Masalka, sorry. Um, and we are going to be showing you an inside scoop on some uh, very fun new things that are coming to some new platforms, which will be uh, exciting. Uh, cool. And Nick, you are doing some podcast stuff, right? Yeah, so our podcast has interviewed uh, Aaron Draplin, Dan Stiles, Lauren Hom, and Annie Atkins. She's an incredible um, design artist from, uh, I believe she's in the United Kingdom somewhere, but she does all the props for like West Carbon movies and things like that. So nice. like pretty amazing. And uh, our last one was with uh, Bert Monroy, who is kind of like the godfather of Photoshop. So we have a ton of great uh, content coming up for that as well in the podcast lounge. Yeah. Sweet. That'll be super fun. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and switch screens and chat. Are you ready? Because Are you guys ready? Bum, 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 midterm pop quiz. <laughs> Can't believe we we're doing this. We, this was just a dream just a few weeks ago. It was a dream a few weeks ago, and here we are. We're in the now midterm. Now it's your nightmare. <laughs> yes. Um, raise your hand in chat. Give us a raised hand emoji if you've been here since the beginning. Um, let us know actually two raised hands if you've been here before Office Hours was a class. If you were here yes. when Office Hours is just a show. Uh, and then one raised hand if you've been here with us uh, during the show. We'll count this as our attendance for today. Yeah. Um, and we are going to hop into the midterm chat. Go ahead. Stretch out those fingers. Get ready because you are going to need to type some answers. There's there's a little delay, so we're going to ask the question, mm -hmm. talk a little bit about it, and yeah. then we're going to pick out your answers. Um, we have a very special prize for everyone that participates, and who knows? Maybe if you get the right answers, it may influence us one way or the other to who the winner of our um, prize yes. of Creative Cloud is. Yes. So let's go ahead and hop into the first question. Um, yeah. Also, if you guys want to, you can join our Discord. I pointed the wrong way again. Um, it's it's inversed on all of my streams. <laughs> right over here. Um, you can go to our fall semester Discord and hang out in there. Um, it's a great place to get connected and to meet some new friends. Lots of hands. Yes, Katrina's been here since like before this was Day a show. One. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's go ahead hands. and hop in, Nick. Here's the question for you. Name yes. one of our five most important portfolio tips. One nice. of five yeah. of our most portfolio tips. Um, and we'll, what was, do you have any portfolio tips that we haven't talked about in this show, Nick? That like quite, hasn't quite made it. You're like, it's not that important, but like, I guess we'll talk Gosh, about it now. You can really dig deep. Yeah. You can get into it. And I think consistency, maybe, um, you know, your self branding it, uh, we haven't dug into that a little bit as, as much as maybe we should, yep. but what we're looking for is we shared kind of five pretty big overall ones. And we'd love to see if anyone can guess from that, what was one of our top five? What about you? Was there anything else you? Okay, so here's like my super hot take. Uh, I think foam board mounting is the dumbest thing ever. <laughs> foam board mounting? Yeah. Do, have you ever seen students oh, that like, that, like they like they the like Mad Men style spray mount yeah. it and they put it? I like I had to do that in school and I was like, why am I doing this? Like we live in yeah. Like it's like 2000. <laughs> 11 like why am i it's not the 1960s <laughs> oh, um, i i love this justin goes don't use more than two paragraphs worth of copy golden yes that, that's that's probably a more specific one but that's pretty great yes use mock-ups good, good catchy descriptions yeah, yeah those are some great answers variety, variety um so details. let's go ahead and reveal our top five nick what was your number yes. one Number one was obviously strong case studies. Um, yes. As much as we have to tell that over and over again, still we do see some where no, you're not compiling them into what we like to call chapters of your book and making these things, showing your process. Correct. Justin got that as well. Nice, great Joseph job. Buying is great as well. That was our second one. Show a variety. Don't be afraid to show the variety of what you can do. Your process and your progress is always great to show self promoing maybe what you're doing to leave behinds and things like that. Yep. And this flex on scale vibe that we always talk my about, favorite. that's going to be the keep, keep tuned to that. Cause there's a follow-up question with that as well. Yep. It's, so, yep. 
it's it's that like oh i have some muscle look at all of my muscle yeah this um, is great chat you guys are doing an awesome job and you're gonna see so me smile so much during this show because i get really excited when we like teach something and then yeah. you like repeat it back and i'm like oh my gosh that and it sticks, right? Yes. Um, you know? Valeria, where can I join? You can join our Discord right here. Joining that Discord right over there, that's the place to be. Um, if you'd like to catch up, you can also find links in there. Or you can go to this link right below me now, um, bit.ly slash Adobe Office Hours. We have a bunch of uh, resources for you, promotional materials. We have the syllabus in there so you can see where we're going in future weeks, as well as the presentations from each week before this. Yeah. So um, that's a great way to get engaged with this. I know a lot of people are just tuning in at the midterm to jump on board this is the perfect time so um this is a recap let's keep going and get you yeah. guys in the know all right so, i got the second question yeah for go you. for ready? it ready yes what's the first thing you should mention in your case study mm. Mm. i have if some funny remember, i have some funny answers but yeah <laughs> no actual answers there, there's, I was gonna there's, say, your Chipotle order, like it yeah, feels yeah. like it's important. So like, hi, my name's Andrew Hawkrattle and I get chicken with brown rice and black beans. <laughs> so what's that first thing that you should mention in the, the beginning of your case study? Because we, yep. I think we saw a few where it went, goes right into the work and we were like, oh, pump yep. the brakes. What do we need? So, exactly. I'm, yep. You need to working. make sure that you like, like it's, I mean, it's basically your Tinder profile, right? That you're... Uh, I'm opening up your profile yes. and I'm like, cool. I don't just want to like Look at you see guys. a picture of your dog and be like, here's my dog. And I'm like, wait, what? Like, I don't, who are you? Um, yeah, I want to know what's going listened. on. They yes. Heck yeah. Yes. Heck yeah. I'm going to like flip my table over by the end of this stream. Cause I'm going to be so excited. Like my green screen is just going to be like torn down. <laughs> this is great. You guys yes. are rock stars. The Correct. Answer is, is the objective. The objective. Yes. Correct. That is so great. It's obviously stating that up front. So now you guys all know what that first thing's got to be. And, you know, I'm even retooling some of the old work I've had to make sure that this that's in there as well. We're, we're not all figuring this out. We're all kind of doing it at the same time as well. Yep. So great to see that you guys got that on there. That's fantastic. And what I'm right. noticing, and this is very encouraging, there's a lot of new faces, a lot of names that I haven't seen before yeah. talking in chat. So it's great that you guys are joining us, and it's great that now you're engaging with chat. It makes me so happy to see That's some new great. faces out of the woodwork. Yeah. I also read George's comment as why is this being done, and I was about to like explain what office hours <laughs> is, and then I was like, oh no, that's no, he just, just had the right just answer. Live it, just live it. It's just, just experience it. it. <laughs> All right. Um, so here's the question from me. This is one of the yeah. phrases I like to use. It's a little abstract, but here's the question: Why is flex on scale so important in a portfolio? What do we do with uh, flex on scale? Yeah. Think about it because we showed you what that means. And I think we had a great example with one of the ones that we showed and she came back and redid it. Remember it was the shoe, um, that shoe pro project yes. that she had done. Yes. And the little zine. All of a sudden it proved our point with the answer to this question. So when you're showing off something that big and that robust, why is that an advantage to you? And yep. I, I, I hope someone can get this one. This could be the more the maybe more in the weeds question, but I'm assuming it is. There are some more specific know. ones in here in this quiz. Yeah. This, whenever I talk about flexing on scale, this is so random, but I think of that Jonas Brothers song where he says chin music. He says, I turn the chin music up. And it's something from like baseball that was like, that he would see like the chin go up and it would like mean uh, something. And I was thinking flex on scale that it's like this like emotional kind yeah. of response. And yes. They, they are getting it. Showing diversity is a great way to say it, but it's actually the consistency Yes, it's maintaining and, that quality. Yep, and Kartik, you totally have the right perspective on that as well. That it is yeah. showing how confident you are in your skills. That you're not just good; you are good repeatedly, and you know that you are good, right? That there's yes. never be afraid of being confident. Um, like there's a fine line between being cocky and confident, but be yeah. as confident as you want if you can pull it off. Yeah, man, this is exciting. Gold stars to every, for everybody. This is this my is favorite. So, hold on, yeah, you you read this question. I'm gonna go ahead. And uh, drop something in chat real quick. Go for it. Okay, so our next one, guys. We had a fantastic episode. If you don't remember, recall, it was all about onboarding. And we had a term called putting out the welcome mat. And we want to know what is the advantage of putting the welcome mat out to a potential new client, a potential new employer, anything, that consistency of having everything ready to go. What was the main advantage of doing that? Yep. This and will be a good one. Who is the advantage for us or for the client? It's mostly for the client. Yep. Yes. 
So the advantage for the client, basically get more business. That's a good one. Yep. yep. But let's go, go, go back even a few steps. You have the perfectly put together brand and estimate and proposal page. The website looks great. What are you doing with all of this stuff looking cohesive? Proving your value. Definitely. Ooh, that's actually a really them. good. Yeah. Yep. Quickly really shows good your value. So I think you guys are all on the same, the, the right the right page here because what we were trying to say was just making a really great first impression yes um, but this is fantastic yeah if you're showing up to the table you show your value up front so man like this is sticking man you guys are getting yep. it i love there, it That's there great. have definitely been clients that i've sold on things that i was not good at because i was yeah. good at presenting myself and onboarded well that's that it's that like, point. cool, I need to get you on board and then I can figure out how to get to the level of whatever, like we're going into. Yeah. Um, it's that like, cool, let's convince and let's get on the same page that like, you think I'm professional, that I'm savvy, that I have the expertise yeah. to do this. And once you get there, boom, you need to do whatever you can to rise to that occasion. But getting them on that on board is so important. It shows you that confidence sometimes is can out, out spark the creativity, you know, and, 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 or the, the book itself. So that's why it's so important to have both of these for sure. Absolutely. Um, all right. Continuing the next down, one, man. Yes. When putting together an estimate, um, name the three most important parts. What are the three most important parts of the estimate? Um, I think my three most important parts are, um, zeros, commas, and dollar those, signs. Yes, exactly. <laughs> those are the and, three. And continued on next page. Exactly. I yes. want to make the most robust one, but we're looking for three of the most important things that you want to make sure you're putting on that proposal. Okay. Cause it's, it's three very top line things, which is great. But you're right. I, I think those are some of my favorite things to see is uh, maybe a few more commas and zeros. Exactly. Always good. Yep. Right. And uh, chat, while you're thinking this, there is delay. So we're going to talk in between. Yeah. Um, there are some prizes that are already hidden about. So if you yeah. can uh, find those, we'll talk about them in a little while, but you can get on the inside. If you do a little bit of searching right now, yeah. they're out there. So for there's you. Easter eggs already out there somewhere in That's the, true. in the office hour sphere. Yes. Correct. I think everybody's looking good here. So we've got quote options and timeline. Great. Yep. Quote deposit timeline deposit. Look at Laura. She's Love already it. like, yeah. Uh, Ooh, that's terms. interesting. Yeah. Elizabeth <laughs> says how widespread the use will be. Um, I've actually been mm -hmm. negotiating a lot of those contracts with usage terms, which is very new to me, but it is so important now. Yeah. I love it. I think Justin got it pretty close to what we had. We had scope of services, timeline and pricing. And yep. again, all three of those can be expanded into many more sub subcategories there, but time and price. Yeah. What I like to think that great. Justin is like doing the matrix to where we ask a question and he like plugs in and watches all the episodes, the episodes yeah. and he's like scope of services, timeline <laughs> <Seriously>. pricing. <laughs> I love it. Tell us, tell us your ways, dude. <laughs> yes. All right. Let's keep going here. This is, I think okay. our longest uh, presentation we've ever put, uh, put out, which is awesome. I know. But luckily this... we're going through it faster because I know when you see a, a big I know. presentation, you're like, Oh gosh. A uh, Kartik. Yes. Kartik, you can catch up on all of this. This is the perfect time to jump in. This is going to give you the overview to where we're going. Um, it's going to yeah. catch you up. Today's the perfect day for you to join the fall semester. Um, and you can of course join the discord. I'm doing it right this time over you here. Um, you can of course join that discord and make sure that you catch up that you meet some new friends and maybe yeah. make a maybe make a buddy that oh, you can go through the semester finding, with they're finding the easter eggs oh you secret terry he just you, gave you a, a big clue as to where one is just a second secrets. ago i love it secrets. they're finding them i love it there's All some right. good ones in there oh, the I next one. the, okay what's the best way to maintain a new client so Best keep in way. mind, we talked on this episode when we got a client and maybe we finished a project for them. What's the one thing we should start thinking about to do to not to not only maintain them, but, let, you know, just keep it going. What yep. what what do we do? I I do this even before the project is done. Like you got to start planting those seeds for sure. But yep. what particularly things could, should you be doing at this point to make sure you're going to maintain them? They're going to be a long term client. <laughs> they're all yep. finding the Easter eggs. I know it. it's fun. Follow up with attention, treat them like a partner. You're just, they're getting it right out of our bullet points. This yep. is great. So this is not the right yeah. answer, but this is what I like to tell people. I always 
like send gifts to my clients. That's the like, other one, yeah. That's almost always, one. and right now it's hard because they're not like in their offices, so I don't want to like send stuff to their homes. But yeah. it's never just like, oh, an edible arrangement. It's like, cool, I got a blanket with your face printed on it because I know that you're often cold yes. in the office. Like something yeah, very specific um, shows that you care, that you're actually invested in their business. Yeah, look at all these great ones. So stick to the timeline, impress, yep. keep asking questions. We're basically saying just upsell at yep. a certain point. Let's say you've only uh, agreed to do three different pieces in that project. Why not tell them what's the next logical step and show them examples of what you've done for other clients. And next thing you know, you've built phase two and, and all you've done is upselled and show them some additional work. Yes, yeah. yes. And Justin, be their best friend. Yes, um, totally. become become a pen pal. Uh, that's the, <laughs> <Yeah>. that's the <laughs> truth. That's Join a, a co-op. All right, this so next good. we're gonna get into the who, what, where, and why. When copywriting, who? should be the center of the focus. Who should be the center of the focus when you are writing copy? Yeah, let's see, because that was a good one. Copywriting to me is still- I that, love that, that episode. That extra little thing that all designers should have some experience with. It makes you so yep. much more of a stronger designer. So when you're looking at writing, let's say you're writing it for your client or you're writing it for your work, what, who is the main focus? Yep. Let's see what we got. Customer, Nick, we missed yeah. we missed a major opportunity to do yeah. like a mid season montage at the end of this episode. Oh, I know. Like with the like as we go. Yeah. Maybe we'll do it for graduation. Maybe there we'll you do go. it for with graduation. Some black yeah. and white slow motion. Exactly. Yep. I love it. Yep. So let's be. I think someone Terry had a good one there by saying the customer. Yes. So target audience. That's a great one as well. So client. Yes, but client's customer is the consumer. The you're trying focus. to get that. You're trying to get the person for the client. So you're speaking yeah. to the person. And don't forget, we talked a lot about like, you know, making sure the preference of the client is removed a little bit because it's not them buying the product. It is the consumer of their of their brand. So yep. always remember that as well. So when copywriting, what should be the core message? Uh, when copywriting, what should be the core message? And Nick, I'm going to go ahead and give you some feedback on uh, this deck and the questions yeah. that we're making. If you want to watch your color matching, the yellow on the who is a little different than the yellow on the what. So just like keep an eye out for the details. Yeah. And it yeah. <laughs> that's what we do on the oh, show. I knew, I, I knew clicking it. I'm like, I think I clicked the, the slightly darker one yeah, on that close one. Enough. So, yeah, um, there all we right. go. So, so here we go. The consumers, the customers, consumers, what should so the So now we're message? writing about the product. We're writing about the business itself. So I always like to say, what should we be the core of that messaging be? And it's, it's, it's a good one. It's one that we all should really kind of remember. Value. What we got. The insights, I think the insights for the audience. What am I getting? That's a good one. Go go a little bit further on that. More than just what you're getting. Should we reveal it or uh, Let's see reveal what, it. Let's do it. Yeah. We got so many questions. So it's, it's really the benefit of the brand or the product or the thing that you are offering. Yes, There's Megan, features. the why of the product. Yes. Yes, exactly. So the features tell you, hey, it has Wi-Fi. But the benefit of that is it allows for freedom and con connectivity anywhere. So yep. benefit is so much better to talk about in your copy. And so keep that in mind. It's not just the features. It's the benefit. Yep. So great and stuff. Megan, great. Yeah, the why. Um, great, great, great job. What's, What's in, in it for me? me? What's yeah, in it for you? What's in it for free me? Free tickets designer. to Adobe Max. We've got free surprises. We've got a free year of Creative Cloud subscription. That's what's in it for you today. Yeah. Um, Easter all right. eggs all over. Yes. So name one That's of the three great. reasons that the power of why is so important in copywriting. We we're just talking about this. Um, yeah. That we want to reveal why. Why is why so important? <laughs> yeah. And why is it important to have in there? Yes. <laughs> okay. How many more whys can we put in? I there? know, right? But yes, I think this was a good one. Power of why became something we used a lot in almost every category and every topic we talked about. Um, <laughs> why you want them to throw their money at you. Good one, Megan. That's a I good one. That. But some specifics. We had three pretty strong ones there um, because I think as well, it's it's one of those um, kind of killed three birds with one stone. It, you, yep. You Highlights have th the you purpose. Have three RB you says, really do. yep. RV says highlights the purpose. It adds value. Yes, absolutely. That is correctly it. So your team, have, great job. Yeah. So we'll review. So we have highlight the purpose, standing out from the competition, and says what you actually do. Yes. So it's not just kind of like I don't know, like I kind of blank, blank, blank. I definitely do this. Yeah. Yeah. 
Perfect. All right, this next right, one. Let's zoom on. We've got a few more questions left, and then we have some takeaways for you at our mid-semester. Um, yeah. Nick, we've got about like 20-ish minutes left, so we may have yeah. to bounce around a little bit. Um, when hesitant to write copy, what was Nick's recommendation to try first? Nick, what was your recommendation to try first? <laughs> that's how I try to cheat on things. That, that's a, Yeah, the way you asked it was good. Yeah. So you're writing copy and you're struggling. It's not working. Yeah. I gave you a really good tip and I think it, it resonated with a lot of people because I, I try this all the time and it makes things much better. Um, I just find it to be a much more, yep, speak out loud. There Elizabeth you go. got Elizabeth's it right away. It, yep. Right? So if you're Even struggling, take it one go ahead. step further. What do you do to that when you've you got to record it so you can hear it back and see, oh, I, I used words that I would have never typed, but I said them because they're part of your vocabulary naturally. So that's always a great way to do it. Dictate. There yep. you go. Right out of look, at these, yep. look at these superstars. So uh, coming into XD, name yeah. one uncommon reason to use XD. A lot of people use it for apps. A lot of people use it for websites. What was an uncommon use of XD that you could do? Um, right before this, if you were turn, turned tuned in, my goodness. If you were tuned <laughs> in, we saw our friend Peter Del Tondo was um, doing voice recognition in XD, which was that's totally great. insane. So that's yeah. a great use. We didn't talk about that at all. There we um, go. There we go. Yeah, we're getting some answers in. Presentations. Yep. There's a few others that we thought were like kind of uncommon, not not groundbreaking, but yep. just like presentations, you know. pitches, presentations, presentations, yep. business I'm, cards. <laughs> I'm waiting for like the one that I think is always surprising. Collaboration. Yes. Yeah. Nick and I actually build that live. Animation. There it is, there Jose. You go, Jose. Good yes. job, buddy. Animation is one of my favorites uh, in XD. And if you'd missed that episode, you can go back and watch it in the playlist, or it might be down below us. Um, we made a presentation as we gave it collaboratively together using Adobe XD. So that was a very fun episode. And a PowerPoint. Yeah, George, there's a good one right there, man. Like, yes. let's call it a PowerPoint uh, alternative. <laughs> yep. Um, let's I love it. skip this one and keep going. So the four advantages to using XD for a web project. It's great for first time users super easy to use. It's familiar with all the other Adobe apps. It's pretty much works the same. You have all yeah. the hotkeys, all the stuff. Um, easy to get client feedback. You can send a link to your clients for them to view it. And it's just super easy to use. It's very intuitive yeah. if you know any of the Adobe products. Yeah, very good. All right, so moving on, here we go. Here so is a question. Fun ones. Yes, these are some fun ones. And this um, has to be exactly as shown on Office Hours. Are yes, you ready? Yes. Um, and we are, after this, going to give away what our Easter egg is, what the surprise is for everyone. So stick around. There's 100 of you here. I'm probably not going to tell you where it is unless there's 100 here after we finish this yeah. segment. So you better stick around. Don't lose it for everybody else. Don't lose it for everybody else. <laughs> um, so what was the name of Nick's fiction's Nick's? Fiction, uh, fictitious. fictitious, my goodness, there brand go. during Design Sprints episode. Uh, Design Sprints was two weeks ago, last week, one of the, yeah. two weeks ago? A couple weeks. weeks ago, two weeks ago. Yes. Last week was yours, yes. <laughs> it was uh, four and a half months ago, I, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how time works anymore. We, oh, oh, Elizabeth got it on the nose. Pops luxury candy shop with an E. That is right. We Good got the, job. all the words, all the apostrophes, and with look, the look E. Look at these guys go, I love it. This is so funny. Yes, we're this is my we're favorite We're making a difference, so Andrew. We're making yep. a difference. We're making a difference. All right. It's for the kids, um, man. It's for, <laughs> Okay, All right, here's the next question. Actual, what I'll was the name it. of my... Oh, oh you, you you answer it. I, I want to ask, ask it. it. Okay, guys, so you, you probably know what this one is. I might even see the answer before I ask it. What was the name of Andrew's fictitious brand during Design Sprints? Ooh. Ooh. What do we got? Right and after like, my and, sprint? And here's a bonus. Like, tell me what it meant. Like, tell me what the, what the company mm -hmm. actually did. Let's see. Beast? Yep. Okay, keep going. What do we got? I'm, I'm dying to see what, uh, cause it's, yes, Justin yes. got it. Yes. Man. And Megan, that was the angle. It was called ghost hunters, but I decided that it wasn't people hunting ghosts. It was ghosts, guns, that, ghosts that hunt people. Yes. Um, it was a fun little <laughs> twist. All right, Good so job, before we get into Nick's picks, um, we're going to do a little overview of our favorite things that we want you to take home from the semester. But speaking of taking things home, oh, there's 95 people. I'm so mad uh -oh, right now. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we lost oh, five you at a time where we're it. giving things away? Oh, no. All right. <laughs> All right, I'll be, I'll be a uh, benevolent uh, ruler to you. And we do have a giveaway. Nick, where can people find the giveaway? They are in our Discord channel. Ooh, they're in our Discord channel. That's why channel. you should be in there to see 
the links that we are giving you away. And the Discord channel is right here. That's the link to go get it. Um, it's hiding somewhere in there, like maybe here in the fall semester tab. Semester. Um, I don't like you can go check that if you want and see what's floating around in there. Um, but it. there may be uh, some surprises in there for you. Nick, what are those surprises? You have a selection of fonts that we are giving you guys um, in partnership with both Andrew. I think you're putting in your font uh, yep. or two, correct? Yep. And we are sharing a amazing font download of 17 fonts that uh, are from the podcast episode that we just did all about fonts and typography. So there's a great little free bundle of 17 new fonts that you guys can use. Have at it. Yep. These, are our, these are our gifts to you for being such great kind of uh, friends of the program. Yep, and there's yeah. 103 people. So you, you all are, um, oh, what's the dashboard conventional song? Um, Vindicated. That's vindicated. That, does okay. that does that make sense in this context? Yeah, they, they, they vindicated themselves. Vindicated yes. Us. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh man, oh, I'm going to listen to that like 90 <laughs> times today. <laughs> How many dashboard confessional fans do we have in chat? Before we get into the next one, I just need to know like how much, how many of you just absolutely love dashboard confessional. I'm gonna hope there's a few. I oh, I hope so. Think. Uh, and yeah, you're welcome, everyone. Uh, go ahead and use us. If you use them on social media, tag us. Let us yeah, know. It's always cool to see. Um, yeah. I gave you Templeton, which is um, my ugliest typeface, but I have a big heart for it. It's ugly for a reason. Uh, I made it intentionally gross. So That's go ahead awesome. and play around with it. Try to make some weird wonky stuff and tag me. Um, yeah. I think our tags will go into chat where you can yeah. tag us on the social media. Um, thanks, Mod, for dropping those links. Oh, please, as, as well. We're, we're doing a challenge with our fonts, those 17, that if you can put take two of them and pair them together and come up with a fantastic like fictitious company or insp inspirational saying show us how you pair and match fonts together under one concept um, and tag me as well longo designs on instagram and uh, we'll get it out there on our podcast channel as well that would be a yes. blast awesome um and yes cody first dance oh wedding song God. dashboard confessional yeah look at that Love Hands it. down, this is the best thing. That's what it was. Like 100%, that's what your first dance was. All right. Um, let's I knew get Cody in. would come through. We've got about uh, 20 <laughs> minutes. And uh, yes, uh, Cody, if you can drop the link to the Discord, that would be super great. Yeah. Um, so Nick, let's get into Nick's picks. These are the Ooh. five things from either of us that we want you to take away. If you haven't been here for the semester, this is your catch up. These are the cliff notes. This is how you cheat on your final. Yeah. Just watch this part. Um, <laughs> Nick, cliff take notes. it away. First one, there is no one path for any of you guys to take and just learn. We're giving you top line stuff to get in there and figure things out, but do what works best for you. Take the advice what you see, but just remember that the last thing you wanna do is extremely 100% copy something else that you've seen. It will just follow. You wanna lead with these things. So take some chances, do something really fun. Yep. Yeah. Uh, all right, next Nick, what do you got? Next one. I, this is my favorite line I've ever received from a, a CEO years ago called be, pre pre be passionate, but don't be precious. And I think when I heard that first, I kind of went, huh? But then I went, oh, I get it. I do get it. I'm going to show passion. I'm going to show my interest. I'm going to show my love for what I get to do, but I'm not going to be precious where, where I'm sitting on it for hours and not doing anything. So particularly with your portfolio, it could ever change it, it never should it should never end so you're always adapting it so if you need it for a deadline get it out there go back and improve it even more the next time absolutely um and yes laura of course we love doing this class it's so much fun um we're about halfway through so we got a lot more coming uh, and mm -hmm. who knows maybe a spring semester will be on the way we'll see what happens let's see what happens my next one it's okay to be a generalist and i, I i've talked to a lot of uh, younger designers lately, and they feel like this is a cop out in some way. And I don't think particularly for younger designers, it is based on your experience and where you're at. If you are on the younger side, or if you have maybe one or two years outside of school as your experience, you should be you should know a lot of things. A, a specific kind of like specialized person might be something better if you have a, an incredible skill that is one of a kind. But yep. for me, I think there's no problem with it. In fact, I think it's probably what most employees, employers will be looking for more than ever in the next few months to the next year. Yep. So Always. just today, I've done uh, designs for physical spaces in rooms. I did logo design. We've done a uh, flag design. We've done live streaming and I've done photo manipulations. Like yeah. learn as much as you right. can and then you can just bounce around and do it all. Why not? Yeah. 
That's, um, that's so smart, dude. And uh, Laura, good question. What time tracker app do you use? Totally off topic, but what oh. time tracker do you use, Nick? I use it with my online um, cloud-based accounting software. It does it for me. So oh, that's I basically, nice. yeah. So oh, that's, but that. again, that's just for my, I think we talked about pricing, but yep. that's just for my eyes only. The client doesn't see this. It helps me understand how much time I've spent with someone. And then I, I plug in my hourlies. How about you? Yep. So I use something that you all can probably see floating on my screen because I'm doing a bad job at cropping out all the extra things. Um, up here, it's called Clockify. It's a plugin with Chrome and it actually integrates with Chrome. So if I get an email from a client, there's a button that appears wow, next to that great. email so that I can click the button and it starts tracking that time from when I open that email. So it integrates Beautiful. into all my Trello cards, everything. I can just click it and it starts to track what I'm doing, um, what the client is, and then how much time I'm spending on it. So Clockify, it. it's really great. That's great, dude. All right, go next ahead. Up, great things are done by a series of small things brought together. That is literally the definition yes. of your portfolio. This is a Vincent Van Gogh quote that I had years ago. I always kept on a post-it, but it really makes sense. It's like these things that you have are great, but your goal is to now how, how do they connect? How do they become one? And you can't just slap things together in a bucket and hope it's a case study. So it's the little things you do in between that are really gonna make this thing 100% solid, we love to say it holds their hand. It takes yep. them through it. That's that's a great tip as well. All right. Well, um, thanks for those uh, insights. You have one more. Sorry, I tried yeah, to land the plane okay. and you're we're, still flying. Good. Please fly the, free, Nick. Here we go. And I'll land it with this one. The best way you can predict the future is to create it. So if you Ooh. want to get into something huge and you don't have that in your, your kind of arsenal right now, you create it, you make it happen. So you, I was telling this to a designer the other day. It's like, if that's not what you have, build up enough of it and have it in the portfolio and change the perception. Cause all you gotta do is change the perception of that person at the other side of the table and yep. you're in. Perception so, is reality. Whatever totally. somebody is perceiving, that's what their reality is. So if you can control or grow that perception, it becomes the new reality. Excellent. All right, man. You're All up. right. Here we go. So I'm going to take you on my five lessons that I'm calling hot takes. Um, I've given you a couple hot of takes. these before. Hot takes. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. Uh, all right, so here's the first one. Everything's Go a remix. It. This is a little bit of what Nick was saying, is that everything's been done before, and you've heard me quote it a million times. There's my favorite musical called Sunday in the Park with George, about George Surratt. He was a painter, um, and he, there's a scene where he says, there's nothing to say, well, nothing that's not been said. And his partner says, but it hasn't been said by you though, George. Um, and that's the magic, is that everything's a remix. It's all been done. But that doesn't mean that we need to stop. Um, uh, that, that song actually ends with her saying, give us more to see. And I think that that's so beautiful that even though it's not going to be maybe something that hasn't been seen before, it is still more. Um, yeah. So really love that. I love it. Uh, next up. Will you hold my hand? Um, <laughs> man, la yesterday on my stream, I winked six times and I just felt like so terrible that I'm like, why am I winking at the camera so much? All right, but will you hold my hand? Um, we need to make the viewer a part of your team and then lead them to exactly where you want them to be. So it is pulling them in, holding their hand, and then walking them through. And that can be in a case study, that can be in a pitch, that can be in a uh, proposal, whatever it is, you wanna bring them in and hold their hand through the whole process. Love it. Continuing on, creative problems need creative solutions. Um, a lot of times we think that a creative problem can be solved with what it should be. And um, we've talked about this a bunch of times on this show, that it's not about what the solution should be. It's about exploring what solutions could be. Um, explore the options, kind of buck against the system. Um, if Nick and I are telling you to do something and you find out that it's better to do it a different way, totally ignore us. Um, <laughs> take whatever that creative problem is and then come up with your own completely creative solution. Um, go crazy. The, it's, it, there's a need for that. Um, yes, Jose, d d I'm sorry, Jose, are you raising your hand? Cause that's my favorite thing that's ever happened in chat. <laughs> like if you're raising your hand to ask a question, this is by far my favorite comment that's ever been in chat. <laughs> I think he's just saying, Hey, okay. Um, <laughs> have a question drop it in buddy. yeah go ahead drop it in. all right cool so um uh the next one uh thank you for being a friend uh everything is better in community find yourself a creative community and invest in them to invest in you 
Um, this is so important to find the community and to have people like what's happening in chat that can give feedback and like what's happening in our Discord. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, to get, get feedback, get insight, to have people to challenge you, to all be growing together. Because in uh, communities like uh, a bank, right? When you invest in it, you can invest and invest and invest. That investment grows. And when you need to make a withdrawal, there is interest that has built up. So invest in community deeply and never let it go. And yes, we love a singing hawk. I do too. <laughs> um, all right. So uh, is this my last one? This is my last one. And this is my like takeaway. Uh, this is what's going to happen um, in my life this weekend. And it's treat yourself. <laughs> you need to treat yourself because we talk a lot about here's what you need to do. You need to focus on your career and update your portfolio and do all these things. And that can be so stressful. And so it's so important for you to take care of yourself. So this yeah. is hard. Like, just like, like this, let me motion broadly to, <laughs> to just like all of everything. It's really difficult right now. And that's totally yeah. fine. Um, that's just how it goes. But make sure that you're taking care of yourself, that you take those moments to lay on the ground and listen to the new Taylor Swift album four times in a row. Um, <laughs> just like a general idea, not that it's something that happens. Um, but yeah, yeah, go, go today or this weekend and do something special and celebrate all we've done. We've done a whole half of a semester together. You exactly. all have obviously learned a million things that you showed us today in chat and that's super exciting and super important so celebrate Isn't that, that. Great? yeah i think that's that could be a, a little sneak kind of uh, episode into the remainder of the semester is how to do that it's that breaking away spending time away from oh. screens doing those things you know uh, i i think that's i was just thinking of that earlier today it was like you when you see something good right now you kind of have to go like oh that's right i forgot there's some good things happening too right and the same with you you've got to treat yourself good in addition to all the hard work that everybody's doing and we're all doing that you know yep. and that's what's really great to see yeah and um and yes a million and one to be exact oh and cody yes listening to taylor swift this morning um <laughs> Hawk is a total mood. mood. <laughs> it's it's true. I am a state of being. I have ascended from being a person into being That's an emotion. Great. I have just a total mood. That's it, that. yeah. <laughs> um, so, chat, it's your turn. We've told you all of the things that we've learned, all the takeaways that we want you to have, and it's your turn. Nick, what do we want chat to do right now? We want chat to tell us a little bit more about what did they learn? What were yep. their hot takes? What things did they maybe... Did, were even inspired you to do something totally different that you hadn't done as you've been building some stuff for your portfolio or some of the work in the last few weeks. We'd love to know. Yeah, so That's as good. those come in, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about where we're going next week. Usually I just throw this to Nick and be like, yeah. Nick, tell us about like, what we're hey, having. Let this. Me, like, hold on, let me uh, get the notes going. And yeah, we literally <laughs> haven't. Uh, yeah, and I literally just pulled it up. This is why we're on this screen, because I don't want oh. you to see my screen, because I'm scrambling to see yeah. like what's coming up so I can. I was just uh, going to say, Laura, Laura's treating herself with some fresh raspberry margaritas. Yeah, that's what's I'm up. Like, you go, girl. <laughs> um, so next week we will be talking about, and we mentioned it today, we'll be talking about confidence and imposter syndrome. Um, it's going to be a super interesting conversation. I'm going to tell you all of my feelings. I, I'm full of feelings. Um, so I'm going to tell you all of my feelings about how I'm never good enough and I'll never uh, amount to the designer that I want to be because that's how it works. Um, that's, <laughs> that's an insight the, to next week. Is the I'm more mine, you know. <laughs> yep, and it, like this is your incentive to tune in. My presentation next Next week we'll end with how do you overcome and be good enough you won't thanks for tuning in everyone yeah, yeah. that's the end of my conversation next week so a little insight <laughs> to what we're talking about for imposter syndrome next week oh this is great we got some good ones here coming up uh, oh, don't yeah. give up keep trying it takes time but it works out in the end just believe you can beautiful be concise copywriting tips i love it this is great yes critique. this is my pillars. first office hours and i'm watching and already so motivated yes Oh, that's great to hear. That's really good. Awesome. That's yes, awesome. George, that that's a really great takeaway. I definitely have charged uh, clients in chunks that I'll make them buy a chunk of hours if I don't think that they will be worth my time. Yeah. Uh, if I think that they're going to give me three to four hours of work, I will make them buy 15 so that they, one, I have the compensation for that, and then they have incentive to actually build a relationship with me. That's great. Yeah, love it. 
Yes. Good. Is office hours always held at this time? This is my first office. Yes, Terry. It is kind of always held at this time <laughs> is the answer. Um, it is definitely held at this time. If you want to get updates about Adobe office hours, you can father, you can father Nick or I, you can follow <laughs> Nick or I on Instagram um, and get updates there. Or you can go right over here to, oh, that's the wrong button. There it is, Adobe Awards. Um, Adobe Awards is posting every week on the stories with reminders that you can set um, for our latest episodes of Adobe Office Hours. So it does happen every single Friday, usually at 2.30, sometimes at 2, sometimes at 1, sometimes at 3.30. Um, it really depends, but usually it's at 2.30, promise. Yes, we have a few that are just switching because of the Adobe Max week, but I think other than that, this is our time. We've agreed with the network. This is our slot. <laughs> yes. yes, all our advertisers are on board. Yeah, um, I love it. Uh, we got some good stuff there about the onboarding session. That was really helpful with a lot of you guys. That's really great to hear. I love that. Nice. And yeah, are there people here from other countries? I remember seeing some people from India, maybe some people from Brazil. Um, where are you in the world? Cause someone Kartika is saying it's 3:44 AM, which is so early. Wow. My goodness. Someone's on the other side of the planet right oh, now. Oh yes. And get in the discord. Y'all yeah. hold on. I'm, I'm going to like pull up the discord. Right? We're doing the whole nine yards. Let's do it. Get in the discord, right? Right here down there. Um, the Discord is happening, bit.ly slash fall semester dash AL. That is the place to be. And yes, Lisa, it is the network. Um, there are free fonts in here. There is great advice in here. There's a place for you to submit for portfolio reviews in here. Literally everything is in our Discord. And if you're missing this, you're missing a good chunk of what Office Hours is. This is the fun part. Yeah, yeah. I love seeing, it looks like there's a few new ones here, which is great. India, Netherlands. Oh my yes. gosh, that's great. Oh, let's Oregon. do this. Let's do this. All right. Put a gold star in chat if this is your very first episode of Adobe Office Hours. Ooh. If you're joining us for the first time, put that gold star. Um, and while that. you do that, chat, talk amongst yourselves. Uh, Nick and I, I'm going to go ahead and mute our mics for a second. And you can <laughs> muke. Nick and I are going to have a quick conversation about who we would like to pick as our winner. So oh. stay tuned and you'll be able to see our lips, but probably Ooh. not anything this else. Is good. Yeah, this is good. I love it. All right. So hold on just a second, chat, and we'll be right back. Um, Chat, while you're there, um, here's what I want you to do. I want you to find someone else in chat and drop your Behance profile. Um, so everyone drop your Behance. This is probably against the rules, but whatever. Everyone drop your Behance profiles. Um, drop the there. links in there. Follow each other. And yeah, everybody follow each other. It's just going to be a nice group of everybody following and supporting each other. So do that real quick and uh, we'll be right back after our quick yeah. conversation. I, I am going through it. I'm just trying to figure out. We have uh, Elizabeth was really good. Um, I don't know if she... I don't know. I think, how do we find out? Yeah. Do you want to do it? Okay. I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah, totally. I'm, I'm good with that. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And so that's why no, nobody I, I deserves know, to win. I don't, I don't think so. Sorry, guys. We're going <laughs> we're gonna to have to shut it down. <laughs> Can you imagine? Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll see yeah. you next week. Oh, no. I'm just realizing right now. Okay. Everyone know that this is coming. Um, just, oh, oh, they can hear us. They can hear us? How much could you hear us? Oh, I probably muted the wrong thing. Uh, okay, cool. We can hear Nick. That's great. That's great. <laughs> okay, it's funny because we've been having, like, every stream today has been having technical issues, and I realized that I was scrolled down and I <laughs> muted the wrong channel. So you guys could hear Nick and not me, but oh, then I muted the channel underneath. So I love it. I by should, now, you... I, if I muted, you wouldn't have been able to hear me, right? That's Yeah, that, well, no, no, I can do the output a little differently. So there we go. There is our technical difficulty. Um, Those streamers right I'm, there. I, yeah, I'm <laughs> glad we didn't say anything, anything too weird. So I guess we know who the winner is. <laughs> Congratulations to um, our friend Justin Roy. Yep. Justin. Um, and Justin, you are our winner. You're getting a free year of Adobe Creative Cloud. Um, and Lisa, can we give away two? 
let's just ask let's just ask our mods can we give away yeah, one yeah. more because i feel like i just feel like it'd be i feel like we, we need it right now we each we each get a pick yeah exactly uh let us let us know if we could do that um and thanks for, again everyone for tuning in for office hours we've got about five minutes left so we're gonna hang out with you um and we're gonna kick it this has been the most kickback stream so far which yeah. has been really fun um and i've loved this um yeah. chat here's what i want you to do Yes, we've learned a lot. Yes, we've come a long way. We have a long way to go. We want to know what you want us to talk about um, in the next few episodes. And yes, Lisa says, yes, we can give away another one. We're going to yes. give it away to the other person that we were talking about. Elizabeth. Um, Elizabeth. It's her birthday, too. El Elizabeth, it's your birthday. Congratulations. Happy and birthday you from, are going uh, to be <laughs> a, um, a winner. Uh, Elizabeth and Justin Roy, you are our two winners, and you have both won a year of Adobe Creative Cloud. Great job. Congratulations. Um, thanks for tuning in. And <laughs> Katrina, the show needs to be two hours long. Like, yes, I love the idea of that. But <laughs> technically, someone streams for 18 hours a day. Uh, I don't yes. think he's got an extra hour. <laughs> so this is this for me is stream number 15 of 17 this week. We got two more to go. So I don't know if I can handle the two-hour show here. But um, yes, thank you for joining in. And here's what I want. Sorry. In the future, what do you want us to talk about for the rest of the semester, chat? Put any that in ones, chat yeah. and let us know what you want to see. Nick, do you have anything that you like want to talk about that you're like, God. oh, shoot, I'm excited about this? right now i'm really glad about what we're talking about the imposter syndrome thing i know that's a huge issue with a lot of folks and kind of we all i think just got to shed the light on it as well you know um i think too i'd love to know if anybody else is doing everyone's doing so much online stuff how is that going what what tips and tricks are working for either online work or online school um that would be a great one to talk about a little bit as well what do we got yeah. That would be interesting to um, to talk a little bit about like thriving in an online classroom because I know a lot of people are doing school online right now of how yeah. we think would be good to engage with that. Yeah, yeah, We've got some good ones here. So street, let's see, we got uh, design oh design thinking. thinking. Yeah, oh shoot, let's a do a design one. thinking episode. Oh merchandise, that's a great one, Stephen. I love that idea of like just how to apply and making merch. Merch is such a big part of any project you're typically working on, yep. you know? That would be really good. Automation is a great one. That's a fantastic one. I think everybody has their own kind of like things that they use, their own hot tips. Yep, we you know? should do an episode and this is a fun idea. We should do an episode where Nick and I try to teach you the most things in the least amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> that it's that is an episode that is only meant Speed to be rewatched in like small chunks, but we give you an hour of like here's the fastest ways to do the yeah. most things. Yeah. Um, that would be really fun. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah, how to cope with college work and personal work, maybe. Yes. Yeah, that's a good one. And then struggling to manage both taxes. Obviously, I think that's a good one too uh, to talk a little bit more about just more financial thing, things like that. I think with taxes, it's always good to talk to someone who really knows. The, the you know the inside outs of all of those different yep. things here's my number one everywhere yep here's my number one advice in freelance yeah. try to make enough money so that you can hire an accountant to do that that was yep. one of the first things i did once i hit i'm like cool i'm good now i'm going to reinvest out of my business into having a good accountant and literally they expense everything they categorize everything they send it over to my tax guy like everything is taken care of because yeah. i would do it wrong and it would yep. be really expensive. It's gonna be more expensive for you to try to figure it out than to just hire someone to yep. do it for you. Yeah. Oh, and that's golden rule number one in business is if someone can do it better than you, hire them. Yes, right? throw money at everyone around yeah. you. Yeah, yes, financial advisors, please. Um, know more about college work with personal work, spreading, uh, speaking as a current college student learning illustration. Yes, yes. for sure. Yeah, okay, so good. yeah, I think that that would be an interesting episode too, to talk about personal work like how to leverage personal work to get professional work. Because I think a lot we a lot of people talk about like, oh, do projects for yourself and, you know, like push yourself. And it's like, yeah, but like, how does that make me money though? Um, of talking about yeah. how to convert personal work into professional work. Oh, interviews. And oh yeah, we should do some mock ones. That we should, yeah. So ch chat, here's the question. <laughs> would, would any of you want to come on Office Hours and do like a mock interview with us? Oh, We've talked about this idea a couple times. Knowing we will grill you. Yes, we so will bad. absolutely grill you. So if you yes. if you are willing to do that, go ahead and put a, um, 
uh, I don't know, put an emoji in chat and let us know. Yeah, raise hand if you would want to come on and do that. We are going to look for some more volunteers later this semester for something else we're doing. So just raise those hands in chat with the emojis, um, and we'll keep an eye out and see um, who would be willing. And then maybe we'll try to set that up because that would be very fun. And maybe we show we we do we we each do an interview process with them that's totally opposite ends of the spectrum, right? Yes. Oh yeah, look, we've already got a, a bunch of them. <laughs> yep. And so a lot of people are saying yes. The best way to do that and to get into it without having to do it on an office hours episode is of course going to Adobe Max. Um, we have a lot of <laughs> sessions for you to build your portfolios, to get our advice, um, to hang out. So you can submit for that. You can apply to that. You can get your portfolios in um, and check that out at Adobe Max. I think that Ahmad probably has a, a link somewhere for someone. Um, but yes, there is a way at Adobe Max to get connected with us, to hang out and to get our advice. Uh, maybe we could do a mock interview, right? If you come on and you're like, I just want to figure out how to interview, Boom, we'll hit you with that. Um, we are here for you to do all the things. That's fantastic. Love that. Oh Love my that. God, interviews are gonna be so good. Yes. And we're gonna hold you to it. We see a few of you said yes. We've screen capped that, we know. We know. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in, everybody. Um, if you want to, you can come back in three and a half hours. I'll be doing another stream of the um, Adobe Illustrator Daily Creative Challenge. Uh, we'll be hanging out with our friends in Australia, which will be very fun. It's noon for them, so we do it at night here and midday for them. So you can hang out for that stream, and then I'll be live a little bit later doing some portfolio reviews, some project reviews on my personal Behance. Um, Nick, any parting words of wisdom? We have two minutes before Ooh, we get cut off. I would off. say, hey guys, if you want to ask us something in advance for the um, imposter syndrome thing next week, just hit us up in Discord, hit us up on, on Instagram. I'd love to have a few things even prior to know what to kind of dive into with that because it's gonna be, I think that's a really solid one. Everybody seems to kind of connect to that one and and, and are looking for some good stuff out of that. So yep, let us absolutely. know in um, click on the Discord, join our Discord right there, and then over here in the office hours, go to fall semester, um, and that's where you can drop in your questions for next week's episode about imposter syndrome. So make sure you check that out, um, and we will see you next week on our next episode of Adobe Office Hours. I don't have an outro slide unless this button I'm going to push is going to take us to an outro slide. So we'll see what happens. Thanks for a great stream, everybody. See you next week, everybody. Bye-bye. Yes, it worked. <laughs>